Terrorism and instability have plagued Africa for decades. Part of the problem, according to experts, post-colonial borders drawn by Western powers after World War II. Borders that didn't always take into account the various ethnic and religious groups living on the continent. Take Boko Haram, for example. They want to create an Islamic state in Nigeria, a country that's divided into a largely Muslim north and a mostly Christian south. The terror group was responsible for more than 6,000 deaths in 2014, even surpassing ISIS, which it later pledged allegiance to. While Boko Haram has lost territory to a regional organization led by Nigeria, the group continues to pull off major terror attacks across West Africa. Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, also known as AQIM, was involved in at least two deadly terror attacks in hotels popular with Westerners in Mali and Burkina Faso, killing dozens of people. The organization, which is an Al-Qaeda affiliate, started in Algeria and was later pushed into northwestern Africa. It wants to create an Islamic state and is known for guerrilla-style raids, assassinations, kidnappings and suicide bombings. Then there's Al-Shabaab, an Al-Qaeda affiliate in East Africa that hasn't just carried out attacks in Somalia, but also right here in the heart of Nairobi, Kenya. The group's goal is to overthrow the Somali government and turn the country into a fundamentalist state. Most of its fighters are Somali nationals, members of the diaspora, and even some foreign fighters from the West. Though Al-Shabaab has lost a lot of ground in Somalia, it's still pulling off major frequent terror attacks and encourages them outside of Africa too. 